what's going on? This is Big Zone 20 again, hitting you guys up one more time. And if I can't talk about the Bad Girls Club drama because I'm not able to watch it, I gotta talk about some sort of drama going on. I have to talk about something. And I wanna talk about the Basketball Wives, the fight that happened between that, that girl Tammy and Jen. And I wanna talk about the Real Housewives of Atlanta and Nene and Kim and all that shit. I don't know which hot ass mess to talk about first because they both a hot pile of stinking shit mess. I don't get it. I don't know if I want to talk about the fight about food stamps or the fight about who knows what the fuck Kim and Nene were really fighting about. Like, I want to talk about basketball, basketball wise first. First of all, I don't really watch the show. It's another show I don't really watch. I feel like it's pointless. It's just almost. It's more pointless than Bad Girls Club. And when I say pointless, even though I like Bad Girls Club, there's no point to the show. Um, in the beginning of Bad Girls Club, there was a point to the show. Now there isn't. They're just drinking and fighting. And then talking about, oh, we need to change, but they really don't. Um, basketball wise, to me, there's no point. And when it first came out, I understand that Shawnee, I'm about to wait in this bitch in a second, wanted to portray, you know, first of all, let's talk about how many, how many these bitches were not even basketball wives. Oh, you, I consider myself a wife because I was with him for about 10 years. Bitch, no. 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 Did you have a ring on your motherfucking finger? Motherfucking Beyonce single ladies back in 2008, she said it well. If you like it, you If you like it, you should Bitch, no. You didn't have no motherfucking ring on it. You ain't no motherfucking wife. Fuck. Married for a fucking day. Bitch, are you serious? I don't understand this. Um, only person who was a basketball wife, um, I guess on season one, that girl Gloria, she was a basketball wife, but I don't think she's on the show anymore. Whatever, I don't follow the show. And Shawnee, she was Shaquille O'Neal's wife for uh, so many years. They were they were together for a long time. And I guess she is qualified to, to, to still have, have that title. Um, whatever. Let's get into this bitch Tammy. First of all, Tammy, I... Terry is just too much to me. You know how there's some person on the, you know, there's a group of people on the show, and there's that one person on the show, and you're like, I don't really get their place. Like, why are they there? Why are they on this show? Like, what the fuck is going on? Terry had beef with Jen from the giddy up because when they, one time when they talked, Jen said she never saw a food stamp or she never, you know, you know, she, she's never seen a food stamp. I'm sure she's heard of it, but she's just never seen one. And Tammy just was like, oh my god, bitch. This bitch is being bougie. This bitch is being, trying to play me. This bitch is this. Tammy, you gave me, you gave too much of that little party. When she was going off and getting off in Jen's face and shit. Oh, my motherfucking food stamp? Oh, a food stamp? Are you serious? Now, don't get me wrong. I don't like Jen. I really don't. I think she's a bougie ass, acted ass bitch. She really is. I was in middle class growing up. I can't stand her voice. Can't stand the way she looks. Can't stand the way her husband looks. Looks. I can't stand. I don't understand his lips in conjunction with his teeth. I don't understand that. That it's like. But he has these big eyes. I don't understand. It's like his mouth is not formed right. That's behind. Besides the point. I don't like Jen. Evelyn, I think it's cool, because Evelyn, I think it's a badass bitch. And first of all, can we say Evelyn is fucking gorgeous? Her, from head to toe, she is the sexiest person on that show. Fuck a Royce, little midget. Evelyn is the sexiest person on that damn show. Period. But, um, <clears throat> Terry, for you to be going all out at the little party, first of all, unclassy, which I, none of these bitches are classy anyway, because Evelyn has, you know, cussed people out, threw water in their face, everybody's getting into little arguments and stuff, and, um, I just don't understand, Tammy, I don't understand, when you be like, bitch, you ain't like, you ain't, you trying to motherfucking play me, yeah, you, first of all, that, if I was Jen, that could not have been me, first of all, I don't want to be Jen, because like I said, I don't like neither one of these bitches, but that could not have been me. I'm like, you better call your motherfucking ass down and get the fuck out of my face. And all this pushing and getting physical nowadays. See, back in the day in reality shows, you didn't even touch. Y'all got in each other's faces. You get your face, but don't touch me. But nowadays, everybody getting bold and pushing and doing their hands like this and stuff like that. You only got to do that to me once. One time. And I consider that getting physical. And we ain't getting physical, physical. 
like Olivia Newton John said, once you push my hand and I didn't even touch you, I just held my hand up like this, like get out of my face, and you doing all like that. That, that, no, no, no. And then Tammy to me, like I said, she was doing way too much and she just seemed to me like it was it was fake. Like you going off getting on so I show you talking cheap bitch like that cheap ass dress she was wearing. All the fucking shit that Tammy wears, I don't understand. It's like it's like it's like <laughs> This bitch might really be on welfare. Like I'm not i I'm not picking on anybody on welfare at all. I really ain't. I really not. I really don't, because I, I can't, there was a time when my mom had to be on welfare to help take care of us. It was, and she, she made sure she got out of it. I don't appreciate people who are in welfare and stay in it and, and, and depend on it. But, you know, she made sure she got out of that situation. But the, the, the cheap ass shit that Terry wears, I picked on Danielle from Bad Girls Club Season 5. Terry was worse. It was like she just took some throwback damn rugs. And wrap it around herself and put a belt around it and call it a fucking dress. Bitch, please. And then she tried to jump at Jen and, and try to get physical and had the security cards run at her after Jen walked away. Bitch, when you was in her face, you should have hit her then. That's you fake ass bitch. Over a food stamp. Food stamps? Are you serious? You get all hyped like that over food stamps? I get hyped like that if the bitch was really talking shit about me. I get hyped like that if the bitch was really like fucking my husband or something like that. But you food stamps? Bitch, bye. Anyway, and Shawnee, to me, is fake as hell. Because Shawnee is supposed to be the supposed to peacemaker. They said they deemed her down in the first season. But to me, I feel like she instigates. I feel like she, like, when, when, like, when they found out, when Evelyn and Jen found out that they were invited to the party, and they called Shawnee and asked her, oh, um, you know, you know, they went, you know, told Shawnee they were inviting to ask her about the details of where it's going to be at. Shawnee should have been able to talk to them there. And she was supposed to peacemaker, don't want all this shit to happen. Shawnee should have talked to them there and was like, no, don't do that. Look, I'm sorry. I'm sure it was an oversight. I'm going to call her girl, talk to her. No. Shawnee giggling, oh, God. <laughs> I'm sure it was an oversight. <laughs> um, well, it's this, this, this place. But don't crash, honey. I don't know what y'all about to do, but I'm going to tell y'all the directions. I'm going to tell y'all which guard to talk to. I'm going to tell y'all which door to go in. How many flights of stairs it is. And then she's going to stay in the background while all this drama go down and just, ugh, I don't like Shawnee. I really don't. Um, let's move on to Real Housewives of Atlanta to the next hot mess. Me and Kim. I don't understand how these bitches keep being, becoming friends. They're not really friends to me. The night. I don't understand how you fight with your friend every motherfucking season. Like, get into these big ass arguments where it turns into almost physical altercations every fucking season. This is the third season. They've done this every season. And they've been semi cool with each other every season. And then it turns into some big blow up. It's dumb. I'm over it. The Nene and Nene Kid situation was stupid. First of all, for them to even have gotten into the fucking argument was dumb. What are y'all arguing for? Nene, you got on the, why, why was Nene even invited on the fucking tour, like Kenny said? Why would you do that? And yes, I do feel like Kim is pushing her um, career in everybody's faces. Bitch, you don't have a career. You made a iTunes song. And you do an iTunes performance. And a mediocre-ass performance at that with your whack-ass dresses and your fucking dumb-ass gloves and your nasty-looking feet. I don't like Kim. I really don't. I don't... only person I really like on that show is... Um, Candy. And I do kind of like Phaedra a little bit now. I really do. Kind of. Kind of. Because cause Phaedra to me, I just don't feel like, you know, she was portrayed as a bitch in the beginning, but I don't really feel like she is. I just feel like she just says what she feels and she just very head and She reminds me of like the Ambers from um, Bad Girls Club, except way smarter. Just, you know, just says what she says and just is very head in what she's doing. Like, you know, whether you like her or not, she don't give a fuck. I'm not going to keep dipping and dodging like Nene. To me, Nene is just... Nene, Nene shows her true colors and to me becomes a bitch. But then she, but then she tries to cover it up. And then, oh. First of all, let me just weigh it on Nene. Nene, to me, 
It's the type of person that feels like she can say whatever she wants to you, but if you can't say nothing back to her, or else she's going to get upset, and you're being disrespectful, and you need, you can call someone a dumb blonde, you're a fucking dumbass blonde, and when she calls you a dumb bitch, you're going to get all upset? Where does that happen? Where does it work when I walk up to a person and be like, fuck you, you skinny ass, emaciated, anorexic looking motherfucker, and the person who's back at me and goes like, you fat ass, fucking elephant dumbo bitch. And I'm like, oh hell no, you don't talk to me like that, you don't talk to me like that. Bitch, are you serious? Really? Because in my mind, only my mother can do that. My mother doesn't say anything disrespectful like that. But in my mind, only my mother or your parents can say something to you that might hurt your feelings and you really want to say something back, but you just don't. Not this bitch. Bitch, you don't pay my bills. Both of them whack. Both of them are whack. And, you know, for her to bring up Kim in that um, interview to me was whack. But I, would, as Kim, I would have just approached her and talked to her. See, Kim is fake for doing that shit, too. Why, you told us, well, I'm going to ask her why she felt like it was necessary. But no, that's not real friendship. See, a, if a friend had done that to me, if, me, if uh, my friend had done that to me, and they went on an interview with, with someone else that had brought my name into it, I would call them and ask them, hey, what was up with that? Why did you bring my name into it, blah, blah, blah. I wouldn't be disrespectful. I'm just inquiring. Well, I would appreciate it the next time you don't do that. Okay. I'm not going to be like, oh, hell no. Why the fuck she doing that when she's just an intern and so-and-so, so-and-so, and blah, 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 blah. Talk all this shit. But when the bitch get on the bus, hey, girl. Whack-ass mess. They all whack-ass Stupid, shitty-ass mess. I'm tired of seeing Nene in her motherfucking hair. That clown-ass hair is getting on my damn nerves. Kim, in that face, that mug. What the fuck happened to her mug? And then she be making these dumb-ass, these ugly-ass looks with, like... I'm like, girl, stop looking like that. I did like this episode when Candy cussed out Sweetie. That shit was funny as hell. Because I don't like that bitch, sweetie, anyway. That Kim's little lesbian assistant or whatever she is. Uh, when Candy went out there and cussed her ass out, I was like, thank you, Candy. Because sweetie just had this nasty-ass attitude the whole damn time. They both have these nasty-ass... Candy, I don't understand. I don't understand why you would... Maybe the network is making you do this. But why would you work with someone as unprofessional as un, and untalented as Kim? I don't understand that. Never again, bitch. Don't do it again. Do not do it again. I think she already said she wasn't going to do it again, but you learned your lesson, honey. It's, we all learned our lessons in life, and that was yours. Immature ass bitches. How old are all y'all? Y'all bitches in y'all late 30s, early 40s. I don't even start giving after the damn clue. And I'm going to need Sheree to stop putting on makeup again. Not like it really helps, but damn. Um... Cynthia gets on my damn nerves, but I can't stand her husband, Peter. Real House was wise in the weather to me as a wash. Whatever. But anyway, that was just my take on some of the drama that's going on in some of these shows. This is Big Zone 20. Peace.